Inside the Olympic Village, what athletes can and can't do. Welcome to Science Deli. Have you ever wondered what life is like for athletes in the Olympic Village? For a few weeks during the Games, over 14,000 athletes call this place home. But it is not just a free-for-all. There are some pretty strict rules, and some surprising exceptions, that govern what athletes can and can't do. Stick around as we take you on a behind-the-scenes tour of the Olympic Village. First up, let us talk about check-in. Athletes cannot just show up whenever they want. The village officially opens its doors on a specific date, and no early check-ins are allowed. This year, for instance, the village opened on July 18th, and athletes had to wait until then to move into their country's residences. Interestingly, athletes are not even required to stay in the Olympic Village. While most do, some, like the USA men's basketball team, opt for luxury accommodations elsewhere. Of course, they have to foot the bill for that. But for those who do stay, there is another rule. You must stay with your country's team. No mixing and matching between countries allowed. Now, what about visitors? Well, family and friends are not allowed inside the Olympic Village. The idea is to keep the environment as distraction-free as possible. But there is one exception. Nursing mothers can bring their children into the village nursery. It is a small but important allowance that helps athletes balance their personal and professional lives. When it comes to roommates, athletes do not get to pick their own. Teams assign roommates based on various factors like the size of the team and available accommodations. And if you are under 18, you will be rooming with someone your age unless your parents and team give special permission otherwise. Speaking of rooms, they are pretty basic. The beds are made of cardboard, yes, cardboard, but the mattresses can be customized to suit personal preferences. However, do not expect any air conditioning in your room. If teams want that luxury, they have to bring their own AC units. Despite the basic rooms, the Olympic Village has plenty of amenities to offer. From gyms and salons to mental health support and massages, athletes have access to numerous resources to help them perform their best. There is even a wide variety of food options in the dining hall, everything from Asian cuisine to vegetarian options. But do not expect to find certain treats like French fries or avocados. They're off the menu due to ethical and nutritional reasons. Athletes also have to follow some strict rules. For instance, quiet hours are enforced to ensure everyone gets a good night's sleep, essential for peak performance. And do not even think about sneaking a drink. Alcohol is strictly prohibited until after the games are over. Even personal security guards have to follow rules. They're only allowed to enter the village at specific times and can't live with the athletes. And sorry, pet lovers, but not even therapy dogs are allowed inside the village, largely due to local government regulations. But it is not all restrictions. Athletes are free to enter and leave the village as they please, though they will have to pass through airport-style security every time they return. And for a bit of fun, they can ride one of the 600 communal bikes or use electric vehicles to get around the village. Athletes are also allowed, and even encouraged, to decorate their country's zone. This tradition has become a bit of a competition in itself, with teams going all out to showcase their national pride. So, Life in the Olympic Village is a mix of freedom and strict rules, basic living conditions, and plenty of support. It is a unique environment where the world's best athletes come together, not just to compete, but to live side by side, sharing experiences that go beyond the competition. What do you think of these rules? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this inside look at the Olympic Village, do not forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video from Science Deli.